Russians on top, 227.81. That number is going to stick, most likely. Belvin and Augusta right behind. Denkova and Stavisky currently in third. And most likely this team, Grushin and Goncharov, trying to make it to that spot and get the Bulgarians off the podium. Yelena Grushina, Ruslan Goncharov in third place after the original dance. Both from Odessa, Ukraine. A training Connecticut now. trip to the senior world championships and they have never medaled this would be their first last year they came in fourth a lot of beauty in their movement they certainly take their time to finish their movement beautiful dance lift straight line how she's balanced on his knee of the season with his foot injury and missing some of their Grand Prix events. He really came into the season late, but it hasn't shown or reflected in their ability or their speed. They, they look quite polished, more so than ever. Yeah, they missed the first half of the season because of that foot injury, but had a great second half. Second place finish at Cup of Russia right here in this building, and then silver medal at Europeans. But he told you his heel was bothering him, right? So that here it's, it's, it's starting to aggravate him again. He's trying not to concentrate on it too much. We've been married together for almost 10 years. And I said, how do you guys manage that? And they both looked at each other and just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> back in 97 after their rink in Odessa shut down I think that's what's so astounding about watching these dancers that each one had to make so many sacrifices and invest so much time to be skilled and brilliant at this sport they make it look easy but it's years and decades of dedication. For families as well, many times having to move halfway across the country or the world to train. And in the former Soviet Union, it's one thing here in Moscow, maybe St. Petersburg, but in the outlying areas, the funding has dried up so much that rinks are actually turning into car dealerships and different businesses, money-making operations, and there's nowhere to skate, let alone train. Grishina and Goncharov, everything in place, 
beautifully executed, and they really related to one another better than ever. So we'll see what the podium looks like at the end of the night. Rushina and Goncharov, can they threaten the Americans in the second spot? Well, and Augusto are there right now, right behind Nav Gustamarov. Happy at the point. Will they stand on the second step of the podium? Back in a moment. Well, it's going to be close. I, I definitely would think that Denka Vincent have to worry about Grishin and Gancharov's performance. Technically, I thought they were they were comparable. Belvin and Augusto have a little bit more energy when they relate to one another, but tonight this was this was a banner performance for them. It's close. I know I sound on the fence, but hard to fit. Free dance right there, 109.48. So 213.95. That's third place. They're gonna make it to the podium. The Bulgarians will not. The Americans do for the first time since 1985. Judy Blumberg, Michael Siebert. You've got an American team on the podium at Worlds. Delvin and Augusto capture the silver medal here. Well, Susie Aspen East Jim in Montclair, New Jersey, is going to have a new picture to put up on their wall. Two Russians <laughs> in gold medals. Navka and Kostomarov win once again, and Belvin and Augusto in that silver medal position. Grushina and Goncharov end up in third that's your podium in 11th Gregory and Petchikov which means that the U.S. will have three entries into the Olympics in ice dance 11 months from